guys. So um, I want to learn how to play guitar. And so what type of guitar should I have? Uh, I get asked that question a lot. And the answer coming up right after this. Okay, so let's talk about general uh, styles of guitars. For instance, this one has nylon strings on it, okay? And the neck is a fairly wide. Um, and the reason for that, this is a, what they call a classical style guitar, okay? And if the neck is a little wider to allow your fingers to fit in between, give you a little more room in between the strings to get your fingers in there because these are generally played finger style, which means that you're gonna play with your fingers, you know. Like that. Um, but the nice thing about nylon, nylon strings, is that it's easier on your fingertips. So if you're just beginning, if you're just getting started, you may wanna consider buying a guitar or um, uh, that has nylon strings on it because they're going to be a little easier on your fingers. Until you've been playing a while and your fingers start to toughen up, uh, the nylon string guitar is pretty good. They're also pretty rugged. I mean, I've seen kids yanking on the strings and, and doing all kinds of stuff to these things. And they generally survive pretty good. Um, so if you're uh, in the uh, acoustic guitar realm and you... Um, or just getting started, or a uh, very beginner, um, I would suggest the nylon strings. They're easier on your fingers. Um, I, I have a, a student that came to me and he had a steel string acoustic, which is what this is here. So the steel strings um, tend to be a little harder on your fingers. But they're better when it comes to playing with a pick. So if you're going to be playing with a pick, a flat pick, okay. Now all these decisions can come down a road in the beginning. If you've never played guitar before and you're not a musician, uh, you have a lot to learn. So there's plenty of time to make those decisions later. Besides a a, a good, um, a reasonably decent student model nylon string guitar can be had for around a hundred bucks. So you're not spending a lot of, a ton of money. Now the student I had came to me with a steel string guitar, but a thing we call the action, which is the distance the string is off of the frets, okay, was really high on that guitar and it was very difficult for him to play. Uh, I could see him wincing in pain as he was trying to play some of the exercises that I gave him to play. So I talked to his folks, his parents, and uh, they decided to buy him a nylon string guitar, and now he's becoming way more successful, practicing more, uh, it's not hurting his fingers, and he's able to, um, to make progress in the lessons and, and you know, just generally doing a lot better. Um, now, the nylon string guitar has a different sound, obviously, than the steel string acoustic. Um, so if you're more into uh, folk and classic acoustic guitar sound, you know, if you want that kind of sound, uh, then you're going to have to go with the steel string acoustic. Uh, generally speaking, uh, the uh, higher end guitar is going to have better action close to the neck, uh, which is also going to alleviate some of that stress on your fingers. Uh, the poor guy that I was talking about earlier uh, had a very cheap guitar, the neck was bowed, and the strings were uh, really hard, really far away. So when even tuned to standard tuning, um, the tension on those strings was such that it was very difficult for him to play. Okay. Now the, uh, the third choice in a guitar is the electric guitar. Now the downside of the electric guitar is that Unless you have an amplifier, and this one's out of tune. You can see that it's not very loud. 
okay? Um, normally with a, uh, an electric guitar, you're also gonna have a guitar amplifier and there'll be a, a wire con cable connected to this to connect to the amplifier. Um, interestingly, uh, I was teaching a middle school class um, of guitarists and um, the, I got a lot, of, a lot of requests from the kids. Oh, hey, can I bring my electric guitar in to class? And I told them, yeah, you just can't bring an amplifier. <laughs> Which actually worked pretty well because they would practice with the, the low volume, okay, because it's not being connected to the amplifier, so they can't crank it up super loud. Um, and it would keep all the, the volume down at a manageable level for the classroom. So there are advantages to it, but if you're really going to rock out, you absolutely need to have an electric guitar and an amplifier. Um, the notes are in the same place. The same place on the nylon string, the same place on the steel string acoustics, both of them, and the notes on this electric guitar are all in the same place. Um, a decent electric guitar will also have fairly low action, which makes it easier to play. Okay, So I would say if you really don't have a clue. Um, your safest bet would be to go with a nylon string acoustic guitar. Um, but if you have a little more, a little better understanding of what's going on um, with different guitars and their models and, and, and uh, those kinds of things, uh, then it's up to you. An electric guitar, most people want to ultimately be able to play electric guitar. Uh, so you could very well just start one of those. Um, after you get into this and you've been doing it for a while, like I have, you you catch the bug and you end up with a collection of guitars. I think I got 12 of them uh, laying around the house here. So uh, you start collecting them. Oh, I like the sound of this one and I like the sound of that one. And you know, so you end up with a little collection going. But if you're just starting out, my recommendation uh, would be find one with low action if you want a, 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 an electric guitar or a steel string acoustic, find one with a decent action. It's not gonna hurt your fingers to be pressing down. Um, and if uh, you want a good guitar that's uh, fairly inexpensive that you can be begin with, uh, the nylon string acoustic um, is a good bet. So, hopefully that answers the question. And uh, by the way, like I said, the notes are in the same place on all three of these guitars. Everything you learn on one is transferable to the other, so no big deal. And um, and to be honest with you, it's kind of nice to have an acoustic, a steel string, and a nylon string uh, around for different styles of music that you might want to play, or uh, getting a different sound uh, with something that you are playing. Um, I've done a lot of recording in the recording studio. I've produced a lot of artists, um, and I've used all these different guitars depending on the sound that I want to achieve for that recording. Anyway guys, like and share this video. Please <clears throat> feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Um, keep them appropriate please, but feel free to leave a comment. Up there somewhere should be my ugly mug. Click on it, subscribe to the channel. I'd love, you have the, I'd love to have you join me. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.